Hello everyone, today I'm here for CC Design and it's the September release, preview day two today. And these cuties are this cat Halloween set. And I have the coordinating dies. And I also use from CC Design the Boo die set and uh, Slimline die. It's no longer in the store though, that one. My card base is three and three fourth by eight and three eighths. And I have a panel and it's like um, a foam and I have two-sided tape in the back of it and it's full of bling bling on there. I love sparkles. So I'm just gonna line it up and I have a nice little white border all around and just press it down. I did this panel here off camera and I what I did was I put that one panel that I'm using on top and then I went and I blended my colors. So the wild honey, the withered violet, the mowed lawn, and the carved pumpkin. Also a little bit all around, I used some black soot and the hickory smoke. So here I sprayed it a little bit with some water and just dab it with a paper towel or just a tissue. So I'm just taking the release paper put some two-sided tape on there and now I'm going to just line it up the best I can. So just like so. And now I'm going to put some two-sided tape because I'm going to put it on the sparkly paper and you need a good hold on there. I'm going to also put some wet, a wet glue on there just so it has a nice grip. I find if you just put the two-sided tape, a lot of times after time, it'll just come apart. And line that up. And I'm gonna put my letters on and then after that, I'll put it under something so then there's a little bit of pressure on it and I'll just help it to um, dry that way. So if you can see right there, I have about like four layers of paper and the sparkly paper for the top piece. Boo to you. And I'll just glue that down. And I'm just gonna glue where it's gonna touch that paper, that little frame. Because it's raised up, I did have two of those, that frame. So I'm just measuring, trying to get it all nice and straight. And like that. gluing that so if you see my fingers are all pink I did my daughter's hair yesterday and yeah I'm still got some pink on me so yes her hair is really pink <laughs> so here is the color I'm going to use for all my cats I use this C4 uh, C5 so I'm just going to do this one on here but all my cats are all the same. I just, I like when they all match. So for me, black cats for Halloween. So I bring the V15 for the hat. I love that purple. So I'm just gonna give it two layers. Always go back and forth on there. 
And of course, I'll bring some pencils. And I got the RV11 for the ear. And the YR16 for the orange. The E55 for the broom. And the 51. And I bring in the 53 too. So I got the E35 for the stick of the broom and I'll bring some black. So that's going to go all around the cat because I'm making more black. I don't go with the black marker because then you'll lose the face. So you'll lose the eyes, a little nose, so and the whiskers. So this way you still get the black but you still see the image itself. So, yes, yeah, super, super fun release for CC Design this week. Um, I didn't post yesterday, but I think I already said I'll be back on Friday for the hop. Super cute. putting a little bit more pencil and I put a little bit of black on the hat for some shading also I did these super easy simple I find they are they're just small so you can, like I always say, you can go even, you know, more details with them or do them simple as I did. And I'm just blending with my Gamsol and Nib. And there's my brown for the broom. And I just blend that. And here is my pink for the cheeks. Make him have little rosy cheeks. And I have a little bit of white lines for the hat and for his eyes. He's super cute. So now I'm gonna bring my little guys in and I'm gonna pop them up. This one I popped with two layers of foam squares and I will put some of the webs up on each corner here and then one in the middle on top just to dress it up and here is another one that we just colored that one is my favorite, I have to say, with the little witch hat, she has to be my favorite. There's the little pumpkin one, and the one with the little spider. I had to put that one because we had the spider webs just fitting, I say, yes. And that one I also did two layers, so she's a little more up. Here it is. I think it's super fun using those cuties. So I didn't do nothing inside, no, no special paper or anything like that. I just left it plain. So it's nice and sparkly on top. So here is, again, a look of the stamp set we used today. And the coordinating dies and the other two sets of dies from CC Design. So I hope you liked my card for today and I'll see you all very soon. Bye!